Hello everyone. So today in this video, we are going to see fragment life cycle. Okay. Uh, I am Professor Dattatre Gandmal from Valchand Institute of Technology, Solapur, from Computer Science and Engineering Department. So, uh, in this particular video, we are going to see fragment life cycle, what is fragment and how it is going to uh, work. Learning outcomes. So, students will be able to explain fragment in Android and students will be also able to identify different states in fragment life cycle. We will see one by one. Now, first of all, we will see what is fragment. A fragment represents a behavior or a portion of user interface in fragment activity. So, we have already seen activity. In activity, we can create a fragment. So, fragment we can say in short as a part of an activity. So, once you create an activity, inside activity you can create a fragment. We will see with an example later. Now, how many fragments you can create in an activity? We can create multiple fragments in an activity. Here you can see that uh, we can combine multiple fragments in a single activity. So, our activity can contain n number of fragments. It depends up upon the type of application you are creating. Based on the type of application you are creating, the number of fragments will vary. Fragment also has its own life cycle like we have seen uh, activity life cycle similarly uh, fragment is also having a life cycle we have already seen that importance of life cycle if there is no life cycle then we cannot pause uh, or we cannot destroy a particular activity when it is running therefore life cycle is an important part of android application so using this particular activity you can add or remove while activity is uh, in a running state. We will see in detail about it. Now, fragment must always be hosted in an activity and the fragment's life cycle is directly affected by the host activity. As I am saying that fragment is a sub-child, child of a activity. So, when you are creating an activity, inside activity, you can create a fragment as well. So, you cannot create a fragment individually. There has to be activity, then only fragment will happen. For example, when activity is paused, all fragments in it and when activity is destroyed, so all are fragments. So when you try to pause an activity inside that fragment, inside it a fragment will be created or it can be destroyed as well. And one important part over here to remember is uh, while an activity is running, when an activity is running, it is in the life cycle state, resumed life cycle state. What is the meaning of it? You can manipulate each fragment independently. What is the meaning of manipulating? You can add a fragment, you can remove a fragment, you can alter the components of a fragment. This can be done when an activity is running. Now, uh, when you add a fragment as a part of your activity layout, it lives in a view group. What is the meaning of view group? We have seen this view group while we have learned activity. So, view group is a root of any activity is created. So, when you create a fragment, the fragment is created or resides inside view group. So, fragment's root cause is view group, like similar to activity. I think, hope this uh, particular slide is clear to you all. You can pause anytime and uh, watch it. You can take a note of it also. Now, this is important part of fragment. This is a fragment life cycle. As we have seen for activity, similarly is for fragment life cycle. Fragment life cycle were, starts from here and here we have on attach, on create, on create view, on activity, on destroy. Likewise, we have this particular state. It has to start from top till it will go on moving to the bottom. Okay. Now, on pause, on destroy, these all things will on stop, on destroy, this all activity life cycle. Now, when this particular state will happen? So, these all particular methods, these are all methods inside fragment life cycle. We can have individual methods written when we try to create a fragment. So, when you are creating a fragment, you can write all these methods and use it as and when required. So, when this particular state transition will happen? See here, this is a straight transition diagram which is happening, right? So, fragment returns to the layout. 
fragment is trying to return to its main layout so when it returns to its main layout it can again go to on create view from on create view it can again come back to on start and it will uh, be in the running state when a fragment is under running state there can be multiple fragments running inside it so fragment will run only when an activity has started so inside activity this fragment will take place and once the content is over the content view is over then it will go to on destroy and it will terminate this is how fragment life cycle will take place so we have seen that uh, when you pause when you pause what will happen when you pause how can you pause a particular fragment running a fragment when it is running you can pause it uh, uh, let's take an example of a game in game uh, you can pause in between uh, or uh, you can take an example of video player in video player also when you are uh, watching a movie or any kind of video you can pause in between again that will be from on pause and when you come back it will go to resume and it will play again so this is how functioning of any a fragment or any activity will take place this is very important uh, diagram to understand the life cycle of a fragment okay i hope you understood this particular slide moving on now this is a reflect uh, uh, this is a time to quiz so you can uh, pause a video over here and answer it while we add a fragment in an activity it gets added to which group you can pause it and answer it we have already seen this yes what is answer for it the answer for this is view group okay we have seen that view group uh, a particular thing here we have seen rias yeah it lives in a view group remember it it is very important now embedding a fragment how you can embed fragment this is how fragment will look like when you try to embed it okay there are two versions of it here you can see there are multiple fragments section 1 section 2 again similarly when you try to load it the fragments inside a mobile uh, phone how it will look this is how it will look like inside a tablet inside a mobile phone uh, you this is how the view will change here i am trying to for this particular event this activity is generated and inside this activity there are two fragments upper part and the lower part similarly if i try to load the same application inside a mobile phone or in an handset this is how it will look like for this particular event activity is loaded and inside this activity there are two sections section 1 and section 2 how it is very clear from uh, this particular diagram how activity uh, fragment is a part of an activity so the we can have multiple fragment inside an activity next diagram where you will understand clearly how fragment is a part of an activity here you can see yes so here this is a fragment 1 and fragment 2 yes and this two fragments are residing on main activity so there is one main activity on top of it these two uh, fragments are resided so fragment 1 and fragment 2 we can have many fragments uh, and you can have them horizontally vertically based on the need we have seen you can you might have seen many applications likewise there are many sections there is a sound section there is a volume section so these are all different fragments which will uh, loaded on your page now here this is how two fragments and below this there is a third fragment this is all fragment 1 fragment 2 and fragment 3 likewise you can have your own uh, customized view uh, based upon the need that customized view can be uh, changed and can be uh, bring it into use okay so fragment 1 fragment 2 fragment 3 likewise you can have n number of fragments uh, based upon the need here you can see the cut off the sections if i want more fragments here some horizontal fragments i can reduce this particular fragment 1 fragment 2 and introduce one more fragment over here this is how uh, uh, views and fragments are created so this is one general example of how adding a fragment to an activity now here you can see a linear layout inside linear layout what i am doing here here i am adding a fragment okay so this everything is same like like we have done for activity width height match parent match parent this will be same and for a fragment here this is a fragment section in fragment section what can i have i can have a name of a fragment so here name of a fragment i am listing it inside article list fragment it can be anything else okay so this is just a naming a fragment 
then you have to give a unique ID to a fragment. Here the ID is list. So I'm adding a list view as a fragment. So you, you might have seen when you uh, uh, click on particular button, a list view comes and goes, right? So this kind of uh, uh, activity, uh, this kind of fragment will happen, right? So uh, list view comes and goes, uh, that, that is what? That is the fragment. Then again, we have a name. In ID, we can have a view. So view is one type of fragment, again, I'm adding. Okay, with particular height and width. Here width we have taken, uh, weight, uh, weight we have assigned instead of height. You can assign a weight also. And again we have height, match parent. So this is the general structure of fragment. These are some of the references which I have used. Uh, you can go through it and uh, refer them. Thank you.